Now an update to Portland's Deering Oaks, which has been getting a lot of attention recently. Ever since a homeless encampment popped up in the park a few weeks ago, there have been numerous problems, including half a dozen overdoses, a stabbing and a death. As News Center Maine's Shannon Moss reports, park advocates want something done about it. Portland's Deering Oaks is a public park that has been enjoyed by people for generations. So we have the pond and the, the fountain, the duck house, which people love, the ravine waiting pool for kids, the playground. Ann Pringle is the president of Friends of Deering Oaks, a nonprofit organization committed to preserving and enhancing this historic park a park that in recent years has seen its share of problems. I'm sorry to say Deering Oaks has been a hot spot for drug injection and we in the city parks department has been on this discouraging it to the extent that you can. In recent weeks though the problem has only gotten worse. A lot of reports of people seeing drug dealing, drug use, defecating. That's pretty off-putting if you want to bring your family to a public park. Over the weekend, police say there was a stabbing and seven overdoses, including the driver of a car that crashed through the park and struck and killed a man who was sitting on a set of bleachers watching a youth baseball game. So something has to happen to get this under control. Portland Mayor Kate Snyder agrees there are issues that need to be addressed at Deering Oaks. It was reported there were 244 needles found by park staff last week that had just been discarded. Snyder says, sadly, this isn't a new problem for Portland. This is not new. This behavior, this this scene has been happening. It just was happening a few blocks over in Bayside. Now it's in a more high traffic area, one the city is sending social workers to, to provide outreach and information about the city's 24-hour shelters. I don't think that this is the climate um, where you just say, you know, move along, right? But we can hopefully say, um, move along, there's a better place for you. Snyder says if the outreach doesn't work, the city will have to look at other options. Park advocates like Ann Pringle say the future of Deering Oaks depends on it. In Portland, Shannon Moss, New Center, Maine. Now, Mayor Kate Schneider will be offering a listening session tomorrow morning at Lincoln Park regarding the protests being held at City Hall Plaza.